On Friday, FBI Director Jim Comey sent a letter to Congress. It was a short three-paragraph letter in which he revealed that they had discovered a new trove of emails, an unspecified number of emails, in an unrelated investigation. We've since learned that that was a uh, sexting investigation out of New York involving former Congressman Anthony Weiner, and that's significant because Anthony Weiner is married to Huma Abedin, who was one of Hillary Clinton's closest aides. Obviously, there's intense pressure to get it done quickly. The, the timing of Jim Comey's revelation has been distressing to a lot of um, people on both sides of the aisle, especially Democrats and ex-prosecutors. We're hearing from them as well. <clears throat> Today, the Justice Department said they're going to be working um, as expeditiously as possible, dedicating as many resources as are needed to get this done, um, but they just didn't set a time, time frame. We already know from July that there were uh, scores, more than 100 classified emails on Hillary Clinton's server, and information that was classified at the time it was sent and received. We know that, and Jim Comey made that point in July. Um, and so the discovery of, you know, several more classified emails does not necessarily change the legal exposure, legal stakes for anyone involved. But if there's evidence of obstruction of justice somehow, that would be a whole separate issue. But no, it, we, one cannot deduce that finding one additional classified email or two additional classified emails will have a significant impact on the investigation. I would say it's important to note there are lots of numbers floating out there about how many thousands of emails. There are thousands of emails, but they'll have to just sort through the ones that, you know, make sense to review and that are potentially. So we don't actually know that it's going to be a long process. So the big hundreds of thousands of numbers that are floating out there, that's not equivalent necessarily to the number of emails that concern or are of interest to the FBI. You don't confirm that you have an open investigation against anyone, um, and you certainly don't talk about it while it's underway. So that's one policy. There's another policy, though, that sort of says in the run-up to an election, you don't make investigative announcements or decisions that could be seen as influencing the election. Part of the defense that we've heard from those who support Jim Comey is that imagine what would happen if we learned after the election um, that this had gone on in the days before um, and this had leaked out somehow. Um, can you imagine the political blowback in that direction?